Well, I'm going to make a paste today, and it's a herby paste. And it's to be rubbed over these pork chops. And Christopher here is going to make a salad tonight. Hello, We've Andrew, done this before, sweetheart, have. haven't we? Now, you assemble that salad. OK. And I'll get on with throwing these into my mortar and pestle here. So I've got some sage, some rosemary, and some thyme. And, of course, I'm going to put some salt in as well. And pestle this all up. Where did this salad come from, Anne? This comes from Matakana. Mm -hmm. It's organic. And I got it yesterday. Oh, fantastic. Hi, Anne. Can I give you a hand? Marky. No, I'll tell you what. Give Christopher a hand. Cut those peppers up or something over there for him. And I'll just carry on with this little jobbo I've got over here. It smells good. Oh, it's those beautiful herbs. That's amazing. Fresh herbs from the market, babe. Now, both Mark and Christopher have their own restaurants in town, and a lot of you would recognise them if you eat out in Tamaki Makoto. So you better put a good show on, Chris. Here we go. We're getting there. Perfect. Katika Amua, Katika Amuri, Kuakuhua a Clinton Povey, Rawako James Burgess na James, how are we doing with the rest of those candles, mate? Yeah, yeah, they are. Great. Right, I think I might have to hand this over to you, Marky. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know, geez, I'm bomb bones. I've had my day. That, and I'll put the rest of the salt into it. There we go. Fantastic. Christopher, why don't you go and take that gorgeous salad why? over there to the table? Why not? And give me that back here, babe, and I will start smearing it all over these chops. I'll give you some, and you do the same, babe. Dunk your hands in here. Go for it. Christopher's going to cook these on the grunty shortly. He's ready. He's at the grunty. Mate wahini anake e tauai he pohakere. Te aporo a ha ko to koretake ki te tunukai ko te nei purini he mama noa ki te mahi. Now I've got to get this little dessert out of the way. The boys and the girls are out there having a great time and I can't wait to get out there and have a great time too. So we're going to do this mega fast. In here I've got a cup of water and I've squeezed a whole lemon into it. It's going onto the stove with this whole apple that I've chopped up. Okay. Onto the stove, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make sure that it boils all the way down till it's practically dry. I've got 165 grams of sugar here. Now, you know I don't like measuring a thing. I'm just going to put a bit out in this bowl here first because I need to sprinkle a bit of that onto the top of my cake or tart, whatever you like to call it. Now, there's about a quarter of a cup of honey there. Pour that into the Maggi mix. And then three organic eggs are going into here as well. So, into there. We're wanting to get this as creamy as possible. So, on with this. It won't take long. That's really, thank goodness. My apple is nearly dry. Check that out. There's four teaspoons of organic ginger here. I'm just going to take a pinch of it and put it in that sugar that I kept aside before. And I'm also going to take a bit of this almond meal out of there. And you'll see what I'm going to do with it later. I'm going to put this apple into my food processor for the Maggi mix. There's 365 grams of almond meal in here. Whoops. Just be careful how you pour it. Got a 
heaped teaspoon of baking powder and the rest of that ginger, that all goes in there too. So we really want to just pulse this. Scrape this out of here. I've got a piece of baking paper on the bottom, so it's going to be easy for us to come out. Now, all you people out there that have a wheat intolerance, this is the dessert for you. Not only is it gluten-free, it is fat-free too. I've already choppy choppied these apples up here, and what we do is just simply fan them around the outside. Let's put that last one here. And here I've got some walnut oil. I'm just gonna paste it over the top like this. Got a bit of pasting tonight. And with this almond, ground organic ginger and that little bit of sugar, I'm just going to tap it over the top, just sprinkling it over like this, just to finish the dish off. There we go, we're going to whack it in the oven, 165 degrees. Be careful if you've got one of these. Into the oven. It's going to cook in there for an hour. E kore he kinaki atu i te hoi hoa poro mo te poaka. Right, let's get the show on the road. I've got this pan here. I'm going to pour a little olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in there and heat it up on my element. I've got some shallots here. There's three. A little bit of lemon zest. I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice into my pan, mustard seeds and some apple and a few cloves. Put in my shallots. back onto the stove. I'll also put in my lemon zest at this point because we want the oils to come out. We're just softening it up and bringing some flavours out from the shallots and the lemon zest. Chuck these cloves and I've only got four here. We don't want to overpower this, so I'm only using four little old cloves. Lemon juice. Throw these mustard seeds in. It's about a tablespoon there. Chuck in the apples. And a little bit of vijou. Probably about a cup of vijou in there. And put it back on the stove. When that apple is soft, that is ready. So I've got a sweet and sour apple sauce to go with all my pork tonight. Kua mutunga mahi, kua whai wā, ki te noho.